Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be reviewing my Chanel Slingbacks in the beige and the black cap toe combination. These are not new. I've had them for over three years. I believe I bought them in the spring of 2017. Um, I'm still planning on not spending money on luxury this year and I'll insert my link to why I'm done buying luxury on the screen right now. So these shoes are extremely expensive. Here in the United States, I think they retail for $875. If I'm mistaken, I will correct that on the screen right now. Um, I believe I spent about 625 euros. I bought these in Paris while I was over there. Um, and for that money, and I know these sell out quite uh, frequently at department stores, so I thought I would go ahead and buy these. And while I really like them, let me just show you the shoes a little bit more closely. It's very classic silhouette. The height is not very high. I think this might be maybe like three inches tall or so. Um, I will insert the correct measurements on the screen as I, as I speak. And it has very classic silhouette. It's more, a lot more comfortable than a lot of other um, point, pointed toe heels, a lot of stilettos that other people wear. So it's definitely a lot more comfortable. And it go like the color combination is perfect. It goes well with like your casual outfits, but this is also my go-to uh, shoes for uh, dressier occasions as well. So this side only has that uh, stretchy strap over here. There's nothing blocking over here, but on this side, it's cut out, but um, there's two straps here to hold your foot in better. And it's a little dirty right now, but um, has a Chanel logo um, and the insole right, right here. And then on the bottom, I have added the rubber soles because the it, it's made of leather, the, the bottom sole and it did get scratched up quite a bit if you can see right here it was all becoming really scratched up and and uh old so i went ahead and added the rubber soles depending on the shoe cobbler it might be anywhere between like 10 and 25 dollars i think i paid 20 dollars to have these added in but i know i went to a more of an expensive shoe cobbler in terms of sizing you can stick with your usual euro size so here I am um, US size eight or eight and a half when it comes down to shoes. However, I'm always, always European size 39. So that's what I stuck with and they fit perfectly. Before I get into pros and cons, uh, some of the wear and tear I will share with you right now. It's pretty good. I never wore these in the rain or anything like that because it's leather shoes and it's very expensive. I recommend that you avoid rain at all costs. But um, with that said, there's some wrinkling around um, where the toe cleavage would show. So there's significant wrinkling here, but when you put these shoes on, you can't really tell and it's shoes, right? It's meant to wear over time. But other than the wrinkling on the right side, it's a little bit less. I must walk funny or something like that. So not much wrinkling on the right side of the sh right shoe. Um, there's not anywhere on the cap toe piece, more so because I added the rubber sole. I'm not sure whether it'll focus. There you go. There's not really any wear or anything like that. Um, on the heel, because I did drive in these shoes, there's like a little bit of scuffing in the back, but nothing too bad. There's a little bit of spots right there. And of course, bottom soles, they were getting worn uh, a little bit. So I went ahead and added the rubber, rubber soles. But all in all, given that these shoes are three years old and I wear them often enough, um, I'm still pretty impressed with the wear and tear is how I would describe these shoes. So now let's get into pros and cons. I will share my list of pros that I can think of. First is that these shoes are a great classic. The, the height is perfect for me. The silhouette is perfect. The color combination, like I said, goes with every outfit that I can wear. It goes well with the flare jeans, skinny jeans, uh, chinos, dresses, skirts, whatever you might choose. And it matches with a lot of different colors. That's why I think it's great classic. And as I mentioned, for how old these shoes are, um, they are wearing pretty well. Um, I don't think there's any 
shoes that I have that are by contemporary designer that have lasted that long. So, so one might say it might be worth the price tag and I'll get into that in a second. And the third pro that I have for these shoes is that they are fairly comfortable. You can wear these in an office setting for entire day. I never had really problems. I, it does rub against my big toe, my, my pinky toe, but compared to how it has a heel and it's more of a formal looking shoes, it's actually pretty comfortable. And now let's get into the cons. I only have one on the list and that's the price tag. Here in the United States, it retails for $875. And if you live in a state where you have sales taxes and uh, part of the city where I could get Chanel shoes, the sales tax, I believe is 8.5 or 9%. And that's as a significant amount. So if you pay $875 for the item itself and pay sales tax, so that's almost $1,000. And for me, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I would rather spend that thousand dollars on a handbag because shoes are go on the ground. They're meant to be worn versus handbags. If you take a good care of it, it'll last a lot longer than just a few years. So the price tag is the biggest con I have. The main question is, would I buy these again? Um, yes and no i hate being very vague like this but um, i really love the shoes it's actually the most worn shoes that i wear when i go out um, because i don't want to always wear like stilettos something really uncomfortable and things like that but i just don't think i would spend almost a thousand dollars on a pair of shoes again this is not the most most amount of money i've spent on a pair of shoes before actually my gucci jordan loafers are the most ex Expensive, the most amount of money that I spent on the shoes because these were 625 euros and then I got the taxes back so it probably ended up being like 550 or 600 dollars whatever the exchange rate was at the time but the Jordan loafers I, I paid full cash for it um, here and that was 730 dollars however I think those shoes are worth every single penny because I wear them so much I, it's like my go-to shoes everyday shoes during uh, fall, winter, and spring. However, these, as beautiful as they are, um, if I were to repurchase, I honestly don't know whether I would. Um, I might go with the dupes that Benelli makes. It's a very well known, similar design. Um, there's a lot of great reviews about those shoes. It looks almost identical. I believe the heels might be a little bit lower, but I might go with those instead because I really don't think these are w quite worth a thousand dollars if they are pre-owned or if someone's paying them for you might be maybe but uh, I don't know what I would spend a thousand dollars on these shoes if I were to repurchase. So that's a short review video of the Chanel sling bags. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys have any specific questions about these shoes leave them in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in my next one.